All right, here goes nothing. I have to go all the way over there underneath the scary, spooky place here and drill a hole through the wall. It'll probably take me a little bit of time because I'm going to need to drill a hole big enough for two pieces of RG8 coax. So, without further delay, let me get my drill ready to go, make sure it works. Yep, it works. Yuck, disgustingness. Drilling became a lot faster. Because now I can go get myself a big ass wood bit. Big butt wood bit, sorry. Didn't mean to swear. Ah, okay. Luck. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause, turn this off while I do this. All right, so I got a one and a quarter wood bit, a paddle bit on there, and I put my extension on here because I knew I'd get all the way under there and it wouldn't be long enough. So I preemptively put that on. <clears throat> so let me get you lined up again, and I'm gonna watch the mayhem. We'll try this again. Let me give you some background. It's about, oh, I don't know, probably 900 or 1,000 degrees out with 1,700% humidity. I don't particularly like dealing with the kind of creatures that you normally run into in places like this. So, try and make this as expeditious as possible. I think we need the impact on. I find something else out too. Uh -huh. It's just me. Where? Under the floor here. Okay. Yeah. Do you need help? For real, I'll come no. down if you need help. No, I gotta drill. Hang on. All right. Oh shit. What is my drill spot? Oh, it unplugged. Enough. Let's try it without the extension first. Oh, there's more water running into my sleeves. I'm sure it's fresh water. Not. I'm 
maybe it's not going to be dry well. something I'm slightly burning up there, this crap out of here, and Thread that all the way through, going on the assumption that it went all the way through. And let me get this one, and I'll do the same thing. like an ab exercise because I have to lay here and keep my abdomen out of the water. Alright. I don't know if that's all the way or not. Try to keep this somewhere that it wouldn't be in the way but alas my attempts had failed. Everybody get out of here. I'm not sure how much we missed or didn't catch that, but I opened this window up and I said, what do we have here? And I see some coax here. So this could be a, a good thing. And as long as this is, I'm thinking this is the one from the new antenna, not the new, but from the gap. And the fact that it stopped probably tells me that it's coiled somewhere and I'm gonna to have to crawl back under there all over again. There's the other piece and that's the end. Let me look here and see what we got going on here. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> this one came behind here. As you can see, it's behind this pipe. So I have to Pull it back through and try again. I'm probably looking at a picture of the sky right now. It's all right, I can't see what I'm doing. All right. All right, 
let you come inside. All right. Another step accomplished. So what I want to do now is I'm going to have to drill a hole up top there so the window doesn't have to stay open. But first, I want to go back outside and make sure that nothing's tied in a knot outside there. So there's the gap in all of its glory. I was able to get it pretty much straightened out for the most part. It's still a little bit crooked, but not bad at all. I don't know if I'm going to go higher than that or not. We'll find out, see how it works. I have three guy wires on. I used to have four. But these are all pretty much hidden and will be out of people's way. Except for that one there that's tied to the staircase. But, uh, and then there's the uh, Antron 99. So let's look underneath here and see what we have. Back to the scary place. Nope, doesn't look like anything's tied in a knot. So I gotta get these run through some conduit. But I just mainly wanted to get them run. So I'll button this back up. And then we can work on this. Oh, to put a hole right up in that corner that I'm staring at. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm trying to find a way to put this. I just see that my phone has a crack in it now, but I think it might just be the screen. Hey, new electrician's bit. It's already a hole up here because there was cable going through it. I just have to make the hole a little bit more user friendly. So. rust. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I didn't make it all the way through it appears. So let's see if I get about another inch out of the maybe a half inch. Ugh. Or I'll have to go back and get my extension again. can do from here. And no, I'm not crawling out there again. So what kind of view you have, you can see the scariness out here that I have to deal with. The horrors. The horrors. the right size to fit two pieces of coax through. Condition in here. I'm not even really a big fan of air conditioning, but this is hot and humid as it is out today. Oh, there's 
some reason that one didn't go. Since I'm going off the chair, I'll just have to get right back on it again. Another process done. Let me get this out of the way. This inside. Hey, it fits. All right, it says a little clip up top, I see. with these. So for now, let me just bring them over here out of the way. Welcome to another Tim Time Projects. No, uh, this isn't the the uh, little cooler and cool hand loop behind me. This is just the basement, and that's the attic and or the uh, floor joists. Anyhow, so I got the gap antenna up, and this kind of it's all out of whack. This video because some stuff worked, some didn't. Some I took with the phone camera, some I'll take with this. Uh, and of course it was over the 4th of July weekend, so I'll have to throw some stuff in from that as well. Uh, new kitty cat, so it's going to be all kind of fun things in this episode. It'll probably be pretty short other than my constant rambling. So, you know how they say the mind's the first thing to go. Well, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I brought the, the camera in, and I didn't have the card in it. I had a worn out battery. And I didn't have the thing for uh, mounting it to the camera stand. So I got all that, and here it ends up I set the camera right down to the base for mounting it to the camera stand. So that was easy to find. So what I want to do is I want to check the uh, SWR on the uh, the gap antenna out there and hit all the bands. But the first thing I want to do is kind of check the coax. So I'm going to first check it with an ohm meter because it's all connected up. And in theory, I should show no impedance or no continuity between the center conductor and the ground conductor of the antenna terminal uh, in here. So we'll take a look at that. Then what I want to do is run out and throw a 50 ohm load on, or you know, a uh, dummy load on the coax outside because it's low enough where I can still reach it. It's only, the coax connector is probably only about six feet off the ground so I can still reach up and catch that. Um, so let me get the ohm meter ready and we'll get, we'll get at it. Okay, there's the ohm meter. Hope that's not too dim that you can't read. Um, and there's a spider crawling across the floor. But I have the continuity beeper on, and even I can hear that. So all those of you with young ears should be able to hear it. So when I 
put one lead against here against the, the ground and the other against the center and I'm showing over limits which is perfect. If I would have had any resistance in there other than the total open I would expect that either one of the terminals was put on incorrectly or I had some water ingestion into there. So what I want to do now is run out and we'll go out and put the dummy load on the on the um, where it connects to the antenna. I'm going to first connect this back up so it can go over to the radio. So you can see what I have temporarily set here because I guess I could take the cantenna outside. That would work. Where is it? I gotta go. Oh, uh, I just have an antenna switch here, and this is just temporary because I just brought the cables in and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put everything. And the first five times I put them somewhere, it'll be where I don't want them. All right. So anyhow, that's on there. Let me look real quick for the smaller antenna or the smaller Timmy load. And if I can't find the smaller Timmy load, we'll take the the big Timmy load outside. Hang on. Well, guess what? I couldn't find. There's the camp antenna. So I'm going to connect this here. Move it a little bit closer. Have a union on this. I don't know how people do this. Let me pause it. This is ridiculous. Right, there's the dummy load. One lead runs over into the house, the other lead runs up and back down to that 50 ohm cantenna. All right. Yeah, I smashed those with the tractor. All right, it's everybody's favorite, the TS940. So I'm just going to turn it on SWR. We'll see how accurate that is. We'll shoot on an AM because on sideband we don't get any carrier. And I'll zoom you in a little bit so you're looking at the SWR meter. All right. So the first thing we'll do is, well, we'll try it 7280. What do we got? Let's turn off the antenna. We don't want the antenna tuner in there either. Perfect. Almost perfect. Look at that. Barely even moves. All right. Let's look at... Oh, we'll just pick a couple. I mean, it's going to be the same. 28, 284, we'll get to like 28.5 or something. Hit send. Almost perfect. So what kind of power we're putting out? Just out of curiosity. Oh, well, what about 10 watts? What is it? Uh, yeah, right about 10. I have the power turned up. Turned down, except when I talk. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so there's that. We'll try, how about 3.8? We'll go way up at that end of the scale. Well, not, end, not that end. How about 3.8 there? Um, 3.8, somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll watch that. Oop, we don't want that. We want it on SWR. Let's see, right there. Almost nothing. Yeah, and even as I... Uh, give us some information. So we know that we have a really good signal or a really good coaxial connection out there to the Timmy load. Ah, the dummy load, I'm sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to put connect the antenna back up and we'll check some bands and just see what kind of SWR we get without using the antenna tuner. All right, back out here. We'll take our antenna off. If I was a real man, I'd have been able to do that with one hand. I hear a gyro, a gyro plane. And I have that uh, Flight Radar 24 app on my phone, so I can always see where planes are oop, going to and coming from. And it's kind of neat. All right, back in the game. Yeah, there it goes. It almost. Sorry. It almost goes completely away. I swear I was hearing it on the side beam before, though, but you can use the noise blanker. You still see the needle moving a little bit to it, but 
I wonder how much, as I cut the noise blanker level out, it comes back, so. It's got it almost all the way up. But the electric fence is probably only 100 feet from the antenna. So I think Works about the same either way with both one and two. But anyhow, at least I know the noise blanker works. Sorry for all that noise. <coughs> um, all right, so let's just try. We're just going to try it on AM with low power again, and we're just going to hit SWR because I don't want to cause all kind of interference. So let me zoom you into the meter. Uh, I've only had this camera for like 20 years. I figure I'd know the darn operation by now. So let's see. I'll hit the send button over here. What do we get? On 3.8, it's a little better than it looks like 2. It come, it's coming down. What's up? Oh, I turned the processor on. So let's see. Let's try if we go up to closer to 4. And I think that's where th this comes with a capacitor. I think that's when what they had in stock when I got it. It was like closer to 4, so we'll just check that. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe it was lower. I thought it was higher. Yeah. Yeah, it must be lower. So 3.8. It's like 2. Uh, I don't remember it being that high when, when I first put it up, but... Let's take a look. See, and again, this is using the SWR meter that's built into here. So I'm not sure exactly how, how great that is. So let's go down to 7, 7, 3. Again, we're on AM. We'll just hit send and see what we get. Oh, they're way less, probably 1 to, one to 0.075. I don't know. It's less than, it's less than 1 to 1 1.5. So. That's 7, let's see, 14, right around 3, we'll come down a little bit, I'll leave it at 3, let's see, oh, that's 1 to 1, that's perfect, look at that, let's just see, oh, but not a lot of power, Too much power. There we go. I'll leave the keyed. Okay, we've got about 10 watts there. Perfect still. Okay. So let's see, that's that. Well, we'll go down to, we're up to 21. Megahertz. Let's see. We'll put it right about the middle of the band, which I think I had it. We'll see right about there. And we'll hit send. Just a little bit more than one to one. Ever so slightly. And the next thing would be 28. And I think 28 is a little bit on the high side because it tries to get the whole band. So we'll start somewhere high like that and see what we get. A little under a spot. One to 1.7. So, it does the full range. I guess if you use a tuner, it, uh, it'll bring it down. I pretty much think that the manual tells you not to use a tuner and that it's acceptable to run with those levels. I don't know if a tuner helps or hurts. That might be the next thing we'll do is try it with a uh, field strength meter and see if we see any difference when we uh, right, use the tuner. Here. You're peaking 20 over, Jeff, into New York State. So this is going to be a true pile-up.
north of us here. So the other thing we'll try is, let's try and see how propagation is. Oh, come on. So I was going the right way. I was going the wrong way. That's the uh, universal time, 15. Let's see what it is on. Can't tell if that's my electric fence or universal time. Oop. Here's on 10, I'll hit it with my finger. Just on five, let's try two point five. Nothing there. All right. to admit I did work uh, K2K which was one of the uh, colonial contest states so I didn't even realize it was going on and by then it was too late but <clears throat> I did work him and uh, he was in New Hampshire good signal reports back and forth uh, oh, that's all I have for now and um, I told you I'd get around to putting that antenna back up I don't think any of the pictures of me straightening it out really showed anything but basically all I used was a little bit of brute force and some heat and you saw the one piece I did a couple sessions back when I shoved a piece of aluminum inside the two ends of the broken rod. Everything seems to work and uh, it is what it is and I would like to get out there with the field strength meter and I want to try it with different, uh, throw in a bunch of different connectors in and then just a straight coax and see how much I lose and uh, also to see if the antenna tuner makes me lose anything. It might be kind of interesting so We'll give that a shot. Thanks for watching. Take care and enjoy the rest of your summer. Come here. I don't see how small you are. Oh, here, let me.
me put you down there and make this regular size. And there she goes typing on the computer. He goes typing on the computer. And he's gone to knock everything on the ground again.